Hockey Hardware is a brand new game created by Billy Morrison. He's a Nagra on the Lake native. The Kickstarter campaign to support it started last week. Billy, it's a really fun game to play. You and I sat down and played a little bit, but let's, before we get to it, let's talk a little bit about it. What was your inspiration for this game? Yeah, thanks so much for having me on the show today, Mike. My inspiration for the game here uh, was really driven by my passion for fantasy hockey, ice hockey, and gaming. And uh, five years ago, I was going to bed one night, looking through my fantasy hockey team, and uh, wondered why there wasn't a fantasy tabletop game for hockey players to come around and play together. And uh, I went to my desk and started writing down some ideas, and the ideas just flowed out of the pen, and I was up all night. And by morning, had a good concept of the game and wanted to move forward with it. The concept of the game is players are competing to get stats, basically. So you play, 15 rounds, mm -hmm. five rounds per period. There's an intermission, first intermission, second intermission. So it captures a little bit of the spirit of a hockey game. Yes, it's structured after a hockey game that way. And a lot of the elements and components inside the game itself, such as the adversity cards, the game cards and the stat dice reflect that as well and try and emulate those hockey actions. Um, so um, we've got eight different types of adversity, which are challenges that players face in a season. We got 12 trophy cards. Uh, players compete for 11 of them. Now, looking at those 11 trophies, they're all different. They're, they're different themes. And if you look at the stats, the stats include goals, assists, plus minus, or actually a plus one in this case, hits, blocks. So each of those trophies is based on a combination of statistics. That's right. Can you explain a couple of the trophies? Yeah, absolutely. So there is a trophy called the Elite Sniper, and that gets awarded to the player with the most goals. Uh, there's a trophy for the playmaker, which gets awarded to the player with the most assists. And uh, we've got a number of other trophies here uh, based on your, your position in the game, if you're a forward or a defense, or based on the conference you're in, if you're in east or west. Uh, then we've got uh, your power forward trophy and your most valuable defense trophy, uh, which are a combination of stats. And uh, players will use different strategies to pursue these, these trophies. And uh, they, they get these trophies by rolling the stat dice, and that's that's the luck element of the game. So the game is a great combination of both luck and strategy. And uh, the way we've designed this is just to keep it really balanced, uh, fair, and it's made so anybody can play it. While it's themed for hockey players, um, anyone can pick up the game and play it just like any other ordinary game. These score sheets, now you and I have already rolled the dice and we figured out that I am going to be forward line one right? And I'm going to be playing in the West Division. You're a defense pair two in the East Division. Um, what does that actually mean? And what does that, what's the difference between me being a forward on line one and you being a defenseman on pair two? So there's two elements here. The, the position uh, directs you towards which trophy you're going to go for. So as a forward, you can only pursue the power forward trophy. As a defense, I can only pursue the, de the most valuable defense trophy uh, we can't win that unless our positions switch, which there is an adversity card to make that happen in the game. Um, and then the roster level affects how many stat dice you roll on your turn. Um, so the, the ivory colored stat dice, there's five of them. Uh, at the beginning of the game, you start on either defense pair two or... Why are these dice, is it eight-sided? Eight-sided dice. Eight-sided dice. Yeah. Why eight-sided? I, it was just the right number of sides to accommodate the amount of stats, as well as the adversity face, uh, which is what triggers the adversity cards being drawn from the adversity deck. So that's, uh, that was the combination that worked. That just seemed to fit when we were doing a lot of the, uh, the game testing. And um, <clears throat> yeah, the roster level changes through the game. There's a line demotion adversity card, which can take you down from, if you're a forward line one to line four, and if you're a defense from pair one to pair three. Um, and there's a way to promote yourself back up the lineup by rolling all stat dice on your turn. And depending on where you are in the lineup, that affects how many stat dice you get to roll. So the logic behind that is if you're uh, higher up in the lineup, you generally see more ice time, you get more right. opportunities to collect to, more to stats. To collect more stats. Perfect sense. Right? It makes perfect sense. It's a good fit. You've and really thought of everything here. Let's, let's play one round, you and me, okay? Absolutely, so yeah, let's go. So I'll roll first. Now, because I'm forward line one, I can roll the five stat dice and the bonus. The bonus die. All right, and so let's try and do this. Okay, so it looks like I've got... It's a very good roll. It's a very good roll. <laughs> it's a very, very good so roll. So at, at this point, I would 
tally my stats, right? So I've got two goals. Um, before you do that, right? We, yeah, we have to see if there's uh, any opportunities for me to you take might, so any stats. Your game cards. Mm -hmm. You will look at your game cards, and yeah. you might have a chance to take some of my stats. That's right. Yeah. But I also might have a chance to block your attempt. Yeah, there's offensive game cards and defensive game cards. Uh, the offensive game cards at this stage are a giveaway and a takeaway, which I've got a giveaway. I'll play that right now. So I get to choose which one I want to give to you. That's right. Okay. Unless you have a back check card. So the defensive cards uh, against the giveaway is the back right. check, um, and it's a turnover for a takeaway. I will give you, uh, let's say, I will give you one shot. All right. Very generous of you. Thank you. Okay, so I've got two goals, two shots. I've got an, uh, two assists and a block, so I'll add that onto my cards. Mm -hmm. And where was that other one? The uh, one block. There we go. Okay, and now I'm not doing anything else, so I'll pass the dice to you. All right. Um, or is there something we do with this die? Because you, you didn't roll any adversity here, you skipped the adversity stage. Right. And now you roll the black game die, which activates how many game cards you draw. So I draw two more game cards. Two more game cards. And at this stage, I can actually play them if I need to? You can. Yeah, you can play as many or as few as you wish. I'm going to play a stick lift card, Doug. <laughs> OK. So explain what the stick lift card does. So the stick lift card gives you the opportunity to look at one of my cards. Gain some see, intelligence man. on what you I'm holding. You have a whole nice advantage. <laughs> so that's knowledge that I can use later on in the game. It's valuable knowledge, yeah. So there's another game card, not to give away strategy here, but there's another game card called the waiver claim card. So if you have a waiver claim in your hand, you'd be able to use that card against me to get the card you just saw right. if that was in your interest to do. Right. Okay, perfect. Your turn to roll. Oh, thank you. I'm a defense pair two. And I'm on the second pair there, so I only roll five stat dice. I don't get the bonus die. And no adversity for you either. It's looking good. It's looking good. And that, that roll right there with all stats means I'm promoted. So I get to go up to defense pair one, which gives me the bonus dice roll next time. Billy, we're running out of time. So I think people are getting the, the gist of sort of the flow of the game. The Kickstarter campaign, you're aiming for $125,000 to get this produced on a sort of a mass basis. What are some of these things that you brought with you? Yeah, so these are Kickstarter rewards and add-ons. So the way Kickstarter works, it's a crowdfunding platform. It's all or nothing based. So we've set our funding goal to be $125,000. Uh, if we achieve that, we can move forward with developing hockey hardware and bringing it to life. If we don't achieve that goal, uh, it all goes back to zero. So we have to start over and find a new path forward. Uh, the rewards and add-ons are, are additions you can uh, pledge for. So the base uh, pledge can be for the game, and then you can select an add-on. On theme with Hockey Hardware, we've got a greater a selection of medallions, platinum plaque, as well as a Hockey Hall of Fame Fantastic. award. Fantastic. What, uh, really quickly, what is the website? The website's www.hockeyhardware.com. You can find Kickstarter through that, or you can Google Hockey Hardware Kickstarter, and it's, it's right near the top hit there. Well, I've supported the game. I hope other people do as well. Billy, good luck. Thanks so much, Mike.